Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. As always, your host Matt, and today we continue on our contact form series roundup, uh, mega ultimate spectacular, uh, <laughs> stupendous roundup of WordPress plugin forms and contact forms, and taking a look at how to set them up really quickly, and then doing a bigger, larger overview series of which one I think sort of takes the the trophy home. Now, I've recently covered Jetpack, I've recently covered Contact Form 7, which are the free versions, and today we're taking a look at Formidable, which is one of the first free plugins, uh, Contact Form plugins, with a pro upsell in the repo. Um, and they've been, they've been at it for a while. It's not one that sort of you hear all the time, but uh, it's certainly one that I've seen them at WordCamps before. I know that they're out there in the community and um, it looks like they have a very good product. I don't use it quite often. Again, I'm not really um, just familiar with using it, but look, 300,000 plus active installs. Uh, this is you know, nothing to take um, you know, lightly, right? They've been around for a while, a lot of people using it and a lot of people obviously liking it. So you head on over to the WordPress repo, you type in formidable and uh, formidable form shows up. I've already installed it. I'm just going to go ahead and hit activate. Now this is where the, you know, there's a few, well, I, I, there's no more few things in WordPress anymore that causes political uh, outrage, but one of them uh, is certainly which is the best contact form, right? They're, they're very opinionated. Uh, they have large user base installs and um, many of them have different business models, right? So Formidable, Formidable has a pro version and the the free version, the light version that they have in the repo doesn't have all the features. And a lot of the stuff that we're going to be looking at moving forward in the series is going to be in the same boat. So uh, I just want to quickly get a formidable form up in this video. And that's what the whole idea is. Uh, one of the things that I, that I like is uh, the uh, interface. So let's just dive right in. Uh, in fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to delete this and I'm going to start from scratch just so I can, so I can show you from scratch. So I'm gonna hit add new. I'm gonna say new contact form. I do kind of like these little arrows that they show. It says, you know, step one, name your form. Step two, uh, click or drag a field over to it. Uh, and step three, save your form, right? And it's, it's you know, that one, two, three step, that's what we're gonna do here. Uh, also, you could load fields from another template. They do have the contact us template. And this is what I really like because it helps people get started a lot faster. And in fact, let's just use that right now. I'm gonna click on load template. And it's gonna drop in the typical fields that every contact form needs. And that's name, email, website, subject, message, and then a capture button so that we don't get spammed to death. And I do kind of like their interface. And that's, again, one of the contentions of a lot of WordPress contact form plugins is what does the interface look like? What does the builder look like? Because you're in there, you're building forms, you're either building basic forms or building intricate forms, um, and you might spend uh, little to no time. And, and it really matters. The UI, the user interface really matters in these scenarios, right? So there it is. I can just quickly drag and drop and move these things around. If I wanted to duplicate these fields, I could click on duplicate. I could delete them uh, at a click of a button, very much what you expect in an advanced um, contact form builder. Uh, but you can see here in the free version, uh, this is all I have available for, for the fields, single line text, paragraph text, checkboxes, all this stuff. These are just the basic ones. And the ones that are grayed out are the ones that you don't have access to in the free uh, free form. And, you know, some of it's a little disappointing, but, you know, it is what it is. Like a standard phone number, a file upload, you know, that stuff you can't get in there. That's that's uh, kind of a bummer. Um, the layouts, uh, the layout sections are also not uh, available in the free version. So basically what this is doing is setting up columns uh, or types of grids that you can set up with your contact forms. If that's something that's of interest to you, I think that's really one thing that sets for, uh, formidable forms apart from the rest of the crowd is sort of their take on designing a form. Uh, and we'll take a look at more of that in a second. Okay. So we built our form. What do the settings look like? Uh, when we take a look at our settings, uh, again, I'm not going to go through every single setting here uh, because I just want to get this up on the site as fast as possible. But you'll see here that you can come in and set up uh, all kinds of sort of developer actions, form actions, uh, different things that uh, the 
Formidable can do with email notifications. And again, these areas are grayed out because this is only available in the pro version. So um, creating a post, creating a user, payments, MailChimp, all that stuff is only gonna be done in, um, in the pro version, okay? Uh, entries. I don't have any entries here, but uh, you know it's going to be pretty straightforward. You can add some, or excuse me, you can display the entries of people who have uh, submitted their contact forms. Uh, one last thing, because I don't want to dive into all of this stuff. This is this is the screen that really sets apart Formidable, I think, is uh, their attention to be able to style this form, and this was really powerful to give in the free form. Um, if anything, I would think that this would be the pro upgrade, but but certainly not. So let's take a look at this. Uh, I already started playing with it before. You can see here I, I made this small little blue form title. And if you are inserting this into a into a website and the form, because this happens often with contact form plugins, the form doesn't really match the theme that you've designed or your customer has designed. So you want to style a form. And if you're not very familiar with CSS, you have to go in and find out where the, you know, the best styles to use, where is it, is it overriding something else? You have to do all that thinking and legwork and development. Formidable makes it easy. So I can say, hey, this form title, I don't want it 12 pixels anymore. And I want it 24 pixels. And I don't want the color to be blue anymore. I want it to be, I don't know, whatever this color is, <laughs> reddish, pinkish, whatever. So I'm gonna hit save on that. You can see here it is, the form title changed from that little blue to the larger sort of red color. And you can do that with all of these, uh, you know, little uh, messages and displays and, and options and fields that, that formidable displays. I think that's super powerful. Um, and then again, the pro version gives you some ability to add uh, new templates and bring in new fields, that kind of thing. The add-ons, uh, you can come here and get some add-ons. Uh, this again, will be all of the stuff that we'll talk about in the bigger, uh, more robust video, but Stripe, uh, MailChimp, all of this stuff here to extend the ability uh, of Formidable and that pricing starts off at 50 bucks and goes all the way up to 400 for unlimited sites and more of a enterprise, uh, enterprise level and you can see the differences here, okay? So we built our form. Let's drop it into a site again, uh, into a page. Again, I can copy this short code right here and actually I can't because this is in draft mode. <laughs> so uh, let me publish this first. And now it's published. I just have to hit save. Let's go to the page, my home page. I'm gonna edit. And I actually wanna get rid of that. That's my contact form seven short code. And again, now we're starting to see these more advanced page builders. They'll have forms that you can drop right in. So I can select it right from the, or buttons that you can click and a little modal pops up and you can drop these forms right in. So it pops up, I can select that contact us. I have the options here to say display form or not, display description, minimize the HTML, insert. Um, or again, I could have just pasted the short code in, but again, it's help, very helpful if you have many contact forms across your site. I'm gonna hit update. We're gonna view that post or page, homepage. There it is. If you're following along, um, this is the third plugin that I've looked at. And again, I've looked at Jetpack, Contact Form 7, and now Formidable. This theme is our baton theme. It's a theme that my company makes. You can get it for free over in WordPress.org. So search for the word baton and you can install that. But you can see that each form looks a little bit different. We've accounted for some field st styling, but you can see the Formidable form looks a little bit different than the rest. Uh, I, you know, I guess it'd be great if I could put all these things side by side. You could see it. But again, You'll notice that as you go from theme to theme, uh, contact form plugin to contact form plugin, uh, things will vary. But this is it. Uh, you just drop it in, you create that contact form inside of the formidable builder. Uh, again, I think what's really nice is if you add new form, you can drop in a, uh, the contact us template and start from there or simply just click on things like single line text and that drops in your single line text and you can say uh, your name, and then drop down, start building out some options, save it, create it, drop in the short code, and that is it. It's formidable, light. You can get it in wordpress.org. There is a pro version, check it out if you're interested. It's plugintut.com. If these videos help, you find this stuff useful and interesting. Upvote it, share it with friends and family, helps us get found. Thanks everybody.